You're watching the opening round. Heat number two getting started. Griffin Colapinto, Kanoa Igarashi, and Seth Moniz. They've seen a lot of each other their entire life, from amateurs to their pro careers. The Griffin Canoe rivalry was exposed uh, for a few seasons in a row. Here, Seth Moniz getting some action during the break here, Mitch. Yeah, two, six, seven, and then just a throwaway for him. That's the 0 0.83, but I mean, he pulls that thing or probably seeing something in the upper echelon of the score range. And then Griff, huge commitment right there on the back end. Now rolling in is Kanoe Garashi. Throwing Ooh. that first turn with some spray. Patience coming out in front and times the lip well for a second backside snap. Goes the distance for the third and final turn and looks real smooth on his opener watch. Plus in a final over Jeremy Flores as we take another look, Mitch. Yeah, this first turn was great, guys. I mean, a lot of commitment right there. Backwash did hung him up just a little bit coming out of it. Recovers well, though, as you said, Strider, very patient and smart. Never got ahead of himself, made sure just to finish this wave off. Should be a good score. I mean, by today's standards, Joe, I know it was a little bit broken up. Anything more than a five right now is a keeper score for yourself. Good patience in between turns as this one stretched out nicely for him, Strider. Yeah, you can see the placement of the board, uh, you know, straight up into the, you know, heaviest part of the wave. And that's that's exactly what, you you know, you're looking for every time to be in that section of consequence. And the only thing that let him down a little bit was the, you know, the pace of, of his surfing two-way. But... Man, you're fitting in three turns, you know, three maneuvers on a wave out here is hard to do right now. On site, making sure everyone's got what they need. As we've got a rider up here, Seth will check out the left. Hard off the bottom and an absolute hammer off the top. Oh. The Hawaiian's still riding. Staying low to get the completion, and he earns it. Yes, sir. Uh up his spot on tour. Now look at this strider. I mean, just the flare, the speed, the perfect timing, and then having <laughs> to deal with the explosion. The thing that I think about with Seth is that he's from Hawaii. He can deal with water. He's always had that pressure. Mm -hmm. He's always, you know, known that, you know, he's going to have to deal with the aftermath, so to speak, of, of a wave. I mean, the placement was perfect. You know, he got the fins free for a second. You know, elevator drop, stays connected. But look at all that water on him. And all I could think about when he was doing that was he's from Hawaii. He's going to come out of this because that's who he is. And he's got that kind of in his back pocket. And I feel like he, he deals with that really well. You get low, you base out, and you, and you really you wait for it to push you through. And that's what he did. Successful career, pipe pro champion as we look at Griff now, Joe, going right. Griff looking for some room to move on the right. Out in front, still looking for speed. There's the section. Whips the reverse, but it's incomplete. Kind of had an uphill battle, didn't really get the speed he was hoping for. Because that event starts July 1st. It's back-to-back -back events for this kid coming up that wants to requalify for the CT. It's crazy, a busy schedule like that. You know you're doing well as we come off the rotation with Griff. Punches Ooh. out the vertical climb, a second climb to follow. And he will be kicking out of what will be his best score so far. And we'll get a better look at that rotation. So Colapinto identifying the right. Had an attempt on an air reverse and went down previously. And this time... It's pretty cool to watch. I mean, this wave is uh, it's like a little mini rip bowl. It's like this deep spot that, that creates it. Uh, it offers up these sections to do crazy stuff like that. I mean, that was a huge frontside blow tail three. That was just like perfectly executed on an uneven playing field. That was really insane. Yeah, powerful yeah. extension above the lip for, for Griff. Getting a little bit caught to start as Seth, but he'll hang in there through the backwash. Belts it off the top just to get the completion, still dealing with a low score. Some of the highest waves of the heat, and he's just never had a backup. And as of right now, trying to better the 2.67 right here. Little stuck on the second one. Probably should improve on that mid two that he has in his score line though, but as Strider was saying, these lefts can be very difficult with the backwash. That's why sometimes the right, even though they're against the grain, stand up a bit more, Cho. As that left right there, that was a difficult one to surf. He puts his head down and makes sure that he's coming out on top in the situation like that. As we look at Griff right here, this is going to be his backup right now, guys. 2.03 on this one. Incomplete second turn for Colapinto. And, you know, he's been finding a rhythm as of late. His sixth wave already, so he needs to make sure that he's at least getting 
a 4-2-4 for the lead. A bit mistimed right here, though, especially with the backwash strides. Stronger, you know, and stronger yeah. as the event changed to Sakurama. And I think people have had to adjust the way they, they approach a heat because of him, too. With that backwash, but I'm sure he'll jump back on it. Kanoa now picking off a wave with some size. Mm. Tees off the first section. Perfect timing. Second blast through the foam, looking like he's in total control. He'll throw away the climb, but two beautiful turns. Four since he qualified, Joe. And case in point right here, taking his time. Great methodical turn right there. Really eyes the second one up too, but doesn't push too hard. Still with a great amount of spray. Missed time the third one a bit too much, but that was really just a finishing point at that point of the wave. But these two bottom turns straight of the first two are great. Yeah, a little out on the shoulder for me. You know, they're, they're nice turns where they throw a lot of spray. Wow. But <laughs> I, I feel like... <laughs> Come on, Strider. <laughs> well, I'm just being serious. I what? Just, yeah, there were great, great turns. Yeah, and it seems like we might have Griff up and riding here, Joe. Griff and Cola Pinto with some speed, big ramp, Ooh. but disconnects on the back end rotation. To be honest, Joe, one of the highlights of my career so far chatting with uh, Matt Miola the other day and how impressed he was with Dora's performance in El Salvador. He said he couldn't stop talking about it all week. There's not one person that's as technical and clean as we've seen. And when it comes to sheer power and airs, this kid's got something going on too. Griffin Colapinto saw something where he wanted to pull in, ends up getting clipped. So he's had a lot of reps, you yes. guys. So now nine waves ridden for Griffin Colapinto. This is the the biggest surf they've had since they've been here. Griffin now with 55 seconds to go, has to Igarashi, who has a higher priority. Smart move for Igarashi to protect his lead with some just good positioning down the line. Really smart too, but he was aware of where his opponent was, Joe. Last effort for Seth to try to get the Ooh. win. Couple of big turns, only chasing a 4.13. What he needed. And it looks like he should be able to turn the seat, Strider. 100%, feeling it. Two-turn combo, drifts the tail, gets a lot of, you know, flare off the end there. And just a, a solid display under pressure, which is what we love. You know what I mean? Uh, and getting rid of that out of your head, just telling yourself it's just surfing and just doing what you do best. But, but getting it free right yeah. there. I mean, really looking like he's having a good time, enjoying the process. Seth feeling it, and... And there's the congratulations from the Sharp IT manager, Yufu Penrose. Congratulations, how was that for you? Yeah, it was, it was a roller coaster. Um, started off strong with that one turn left. Um, I didn't really know what they were gonna score, you know, but they rewarded me. Then I kinda just waited the whole heat for that last wave in the dying seconds, so. It's not how I want to serve heats, but I'm super happy to just, just to get the opportunity. And the waves today, they're really heavy, different from past days, but close to what you have at home. Does it make it easier for you? Yeah, I definitely prefer, you know, when there's some size. The last week it's been pretty small and, you know, not much practice going on down here. But, um, you know, a day like this, it's anyone's game. It doesn't really matter who you come up against. It's kind of victory at sea out there and you just got to be in the rhythm with the ocean. Great, thank you very much. Back to you guys.